You might remember this stomach churning story we brought you last year. Fall canker worms and gypsy moths infesting a community in Mississauga, eating leaves, leaving feces all over the place and getting everywhere, including on people. I'm Natish Bissono in Mississauga, where an open house was held for residents of Ward 2, one of the areas heavily affected by last year's infestation. This year, the city wants to better prepare residents to deal with these insects, and part of that is having aerial sprays. I remember going for walks and coming back and covered, and my younger daughter would go to bed, and she'd find worms in her bed because she had gone outside because she'd come home at night. It was disgusting. And it was to the point that uh, if you were walking on the driveway, you could actually take a slip. It was like almost as if you were on ice. It's an experience many Mississauga residents do not want to relive this year. No, I've never seen anything like it in my life. I would liken it to Wormageddon. I dreamt about them for weeks, and but the devastating part was what it did to our tree canopy. And our tree canopy has both economic and environmental benefits, and we need to do whatever we can to maintain that. The city plans to spray both private and public land in wards 1, 2, 6, 7, 8, and 11. Flyovers will take place over the Lakeshore area and Credit River Valley as of April 23rd until June 10th. The, the helicopter company doing the spray program has proposed two helicopters to do the areas over three days. And we would look at doing a second spray three to five days later to ensure good coverage and making sure we're dropping the, the insect population back down to a level that's more manageable. BTK, a naturally occurring bacterium found in soil, is what will be used to spray the area. It was last used in 2006 and 2007 and is approved by Health Canada with no health issues expected. As a precautionary measure, residents are asked to remain indoors when the spray is being conducted. Other methods being used include sticky bands and burlap. City staff handed out some tangle foot and pheromone traps. And I saw lots of uh, victims of, <laughs> of this. So this stuff will work then? It you? would work, yes. And are but you it optimistic took, it will be better than last year? And I, I, I hope it will be far better. We're going we so. we're gonna to fight Fingers the fight crossed. and let's see what happens. The aerial spray program will be funded by the city of Mississauga and will cost around $1.9 million. Now residents will get another chance to learn more about how to deal with these insects at a general open house on May 1st in Mississauga. I'm Mr. Pisano, City News.